In this tutorial, we're going to look at how to create a CloudFormation template that then creates a Cognito Identity Pool ID that we insert into our scene. Uh, this is necessary for when you're using Sumerian that, to integrate with other services like AWS IoT, Amazon Lex, Amazon Poly. So let's get started. We're first going to start here in this tutorial. Now, you, know, you have to know what you're trying to accomplish. So if you're trying to use AWS IoT or Amazon Lex or Amazon Poly, it's, you're going to use different templates for those different services. Uh, however, the, the workflow is going to be the same from the standpoint of creating the template and then inserting the Cognito Identity Pool ID. Now, for AWS IoT, you would use this top one, and you can find this tutorial um, in the link provided below. And it is also on our tutorials page, pretty easy to find, especially if you just look for AWS integration or integrate AWS setup. Now, uh, so if you are using AWS IoT, you would launch this stack. If you're using Amazon Lex or Amazon Paul, you'd use these two below. But here's the thing, Amazon Lex, this stack, really actually, it works for both Amazon Lex and Amazon Poly. So it actually makes more sense just to use this bottom one. So then you always have the capability to use both Lex and Poly, where uh, this middle one is only useful for poly. So again, I, I recommend you using this bottom one for when you're using hosts and you're trying to get hosts to speak because then you'll always have the capability to create a chatbot with your host. So I'm going to start there. I'm going to click launch stack and this will take me into cloud formation and I have the ability to name the stack. So I'll call this Twitch uh, tutorial walk through setup doesn't really matter what it is and then i click i acknowledge and then i create it takes just a second for it to create the new tutorial or the new uh, template i'm sorry but once it does just scroll down to the output section here and it provides the the key is the cognito identity pool id and then a value, you just copy this value. And then you jump back to your Sumerian scene. I click the top level entity over in the entities panel. That is the scene level entity, whatever's on the top. And then I, I navigate over to the inspector panel and under AWS configuration, that component, I unfold that. And then you'll see that I have a Cognito Identity Pool ID text box. And that's where I will insert my Cognito Identity Pool ID. And that's how it's done. Thanks for watching.